there were misconceptions about copper bus bar and aluminum bus bar. Some people may even draw to a conclusion that copper bus bar is certainly superior to aluminum bus bar. But the fact is, uh, each material is the best choice in certain application scenario. In this video, I'm going to compare the two material of bus bar in three ways. The first point is conductivity. Conductivity is also the most frequently mentioned point many people are using to argue that copper bus bar is superior to aluminum bus bar. But this statement is only half of the truth. So on one hand, for the same size of two kinds of material, aluminum bus bar conductivity is only 65% of copper bus bar. So in this sense, copper bus bar totally outperforms aluminum bus bar. On the other hand, aluminum material is 70% lighter than copper material. So when you compare conductivity by weight, you will find that aluminum material is actually 50% more conductive than copper material. So in this case, aluminum material gets the upper hand. The second point is price and cost. Aluminum bus bar is lower price than copper bus bar. That's because aluminum is rich in nature and it's easier to get. What's more, copper market is volatile and its price is more likely to be affected by market demand. The last point is their resistance. Some people argue that aluminum bus bar cannot withstand electromechanical stress as well as copper bus bar. But in reality, aluminum bus bar has plenty of tensile strength to withstand thermal expansion strength. What's more, high quality, high strength aluminum bus bar can have mechanical strength up to 530 Newton per square millimeter. The aluminum material is more fatigue resistant and corrosion resistant than copper material. Even if there is a corrosion in the material, it's really easy to sweep it off. In short, aluminum bus bar may provide a better cost-effective solution depending on application requirements. 